Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So before we get into a lot of the other videos uh, this month, like our Grandstream videos and and more of our Lego Wave, and now I've got some Ignite Net stuff that showed up, and of course our Amplify videos and things like that, I wanted to do this quick little fun video with an Edge Router X. So um, you're used to me, you know, measuring things by the size of an Edge Router. But I happen to have this awesome ruler right here. And so we are going to uh, talk about how big the Edge Router X is. So it's almost, it's almost four and a half by three. I don't know if you can see that or not. By uh, a little over an inch. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? So sometimes when you're troubleshooting... Um, an edge router problem with an edge router and I love the edge router X this is the only edge router currently that has a dedicated actual switch chip in it so that when we create switch zero and we do VLANs with this there is no there's no penalty for that in the software because it's actually using a piece of hardware inside here to do that um, if you're not familiar with the edge router X it can be powered via 24 volt passive and then it can actually pass that through so you can power it and pass it through um, or you can power it with the 12 volt adapter and uh, and then power you know something that is uh, 24 volt passive off of that port it's got the reset button now back to my original statement sometimes when you're troubleshooting a problem with an edge router you need to plug into the console port but you look at the Edge Router X and you say, oh, Willie, there's no console port. Or is there? So you're going to need a few things. And I'll put links to everything you need, Amazon affiliate links, down in the description. The first thing that you're going to need is you are going to need a USB to TTL or uh, a USB to RS-232. But... Uh, I'll put a link to this. It's actually a USB to TTL converter, and it's got four pins that are broken out. The other side is USB and plugs into your PC. And this is the brand that I'm using as Armor View. And I will put that link down in the description. The next thing you're going to need, you're going to need a zero, zero screwdriver because on the back of the Edge Router X, there are two tiny zero zero screws and we have to take this off to get to the correct place to hook our cable in we have to actually open the edge router X up so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the screws out of the back of the edge router and you want to be careful once you get this done because there are these little plastic um, there's a little piece of plastic in here and I'll show it to you because I actually broke broke it uh, taking my edge router apart so uh, I can't RMA it now I'm just kidding I wouldn't RMA it in the first place because of this but um, there's just this little piece of plastic in there that harnesses the LEDs and gives you the lights on top so you take the screws out of the back and then the case just slides apart and then you have your router so if you've never opened one of these take the screws out and then the case just slides apart it is notched so it slides out just a little bit and then comes apart and that's all there is to it so now you got two pieces so um, and then this is what the inside of your edge router X actually looks like and right here are the pins that we are going to be dealing with and so if you get this exact um, if you get this exact adapter you're gonna go from uh, you're gonna hold the the router like this so that the pins are at the bottom and we're gonna use the first three pins starting on the right so we're gonna skip the first one on the left and we're gonna use these last three so and the pin out goes so on this particular cable and when you get your cable uh, it will tell you there's a sticker on there that tells you what color does what and so in my cable black is ground red is plus 5 volts 
green is transmit, white is receive. And on the edge router, when we plug these in, we are going to want to make sure, well, if you don't do it correctly, um, it's, it's just not going to work. So our pinouts are going to go from right to left. It's going to go uh, black for ground. And then what do we say our colors were? Let's see. It's going to go uh, white for receive and then green for transmit. And you're not going to use you're not going to use the red cable. So when you get it all hooked up properly using this exact cable, this is what it's going to look like. So now what we need to do is we need to open PuTTY. Um, and I guess maybe I'm putting the cart before the horse. Make sure that you install this and you install the drivers and that Windows sees this correctly. If you're having problems, put it down in the comments and we'll see if we can get you going. Sometimes with newer version of Windows, these drivers act a little hinky, but it's nothing that we can't we can't work through. All right, so well, you've got your uh, cable installed. You figured out what is ground, transmit, and receive. You've cracked open your edge router X. You've placed the uh, connectors on the proper pins. And so now what you've got to do is you've got to open PuTTY. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you, I'll show you this real quick. So if we bring up our uh, device manager, I know that this is COM3. Okay, so we're going to connect to COM3 using PuTTY. And we'll open PuTTY. We're going to go to Serial. We're going to go to COM3. Now, for the Edge Router X, the speed is actually 57600. So if you've uh, configured any of the other Edge Routers, you will know that it's, the speed is higher than that, but for the Edge Router X, it is 57.6. So um, we've got everything hooked up, so we're going to go ahead and open this. And now you can see that the terminal is just sitting here waiting. So I'm actually going to power my Edge Router with an Ethernet cable. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to plug into Eth0. And now you can see immediately that we are getting output on putty so we can watch this guy boot so this is the the uh, the serial port the console port for the edge router X um, it's a little I don't know I think it, I actually think that the router actually looks really cool um, <laughs> like this now it's obviously you could mount it on the wall like this and you could you know take the top off if ubiquity tells you hey we need to capture you know stuff coming from the console you could absolutely run it this way I don't know that depending on your environment I probably wouldn't run it this way long term now while that guy's booting here's one of the little plastic uh, things that harnesses the light of your LED and gives you the light out of the top there so I broke uh, that's the one for ETH4 so um, I'm actually gonna try to get some glue and glue back in there but I'm not real hopeful that that's actually gonna work so it looks like our edge router is still uh, booting. And let's see if we can... Uh... Okay, so now we're at a login. And I know that I have actually been using this router to do a lot of other configurations, and it is not default. So what I need to do is I need to find my universal reset tool. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to poke the reset button on this guy, and we're going to watch what happens here 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000 9 1000 10 1000 things stop blinking and uh, we'll let go and now you can see we're gonna go uh, back through and it's basically going to uh, wipe this thing off and make it factory default so as soon as it comes back up we should be able to log in with UBNT UBNT so, and you could actually see there that we could have uh, done a, um, I'll scroll back up to that in a second, but you saw the options that we had there. I'm assuming that we could have went ahead and done a TFTP recover on this. So, um, I've not had an Edge Router X crash so bad that it needed a TFTP 
recovery, but it was in the menu. I've not selected it. We could do that and see if it works. But uh, I want to get this guy booted up here. And, you know, I, I really do. I love the Edge Router X because they're so inexpensive. You know, if you use uh, my Amazon affiliate link down there, you can get them, pick them up for 49 bucks. And these things, they'll run in extreme temperatures. They will, um, there's no moving parts. The only time I've had one of these fails, it took a lightning strike, you know. So uh, you don't, you know, you can kind of beat these things up and they'll just keep running. And, of course, they're Linux under the hood and you can add things to them. Now, you know that I like to let the router do the routing. But uh, this guy should almost be up here. So we'll see what happens in just a second. And looks like it's coming up. So now we should be able to log in UBNT, UBNT. And there, there it is. So um, everything appears to be working. So uh, you can see that I still only have 1.9.7 hotfix 1 on here. So this is obviously not in production. And it is an Edge Router X5 port. You can see the serial number of this particular device here. And so that's it. There really is a console port. And if you, for some reason, ever need it, now you know how to get to it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there. They don't change your price. But they kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep some of this gear rolling in. And uh, we got a lot of exciting videos uh, rolling in. I'm going to start trying to pump out a few more here during the holiday season. we got all kinds of vendors on board. And everybody's sending me gear. And uh, we're going to get it all tried out. And once again, we'll see you in the next video.